During the events of the two-part finale of Series 5, the Pandorica opens and the Big Bang, the majority of the universe is temporarily erased from history, leaving stone, statue-like after-effects as the only remnants of the species of the universe, including the Daleks. Two Paradigm Daleks are turned to stone in the Underhenge, and later end up in the British Museum, and one is restored to life thanks to the regenerative powers of the Pandorica. However, it is never made clear which Dalek is revived by the Pandorica, as there are three different Paradigm Daleks present to trap the Doctor, and only one is later revived. It is impossible to visually identify which of the three Paradigm Daleks this is, as the stone effect completely obscures the rank colour. The first and most obvious choice is that this Dalek is the Supreme, the most important Dalek of the three, but the fact that this Dalek does not have the Supreme's distinctive deep grating voice rules him out immediately. It could also have been the Drone Dalek, which is still capable of independent decision making like all Dalek drones are. However, the fact that this Dalek demonstrates understanding of the concept of mercy, coupled with the fact that it is able to survive despite the entire timeline of its species being erased from history, makes me think that this Dalek is in fact the Eternal. Many fans assume that the Dalek Eternal would have a distinctive voice, similar to that of the Dalek Time Controller or Dalek Emperor, but we have never actually heard the Dalek Eternal speak, so it could be that the Eternal's voice is no different to a regular Dalek. It also means that the Eternal actually gets to do something in the series, as the Stone Dalek features prominently as the primary antagonist of the Big Bang, and while it is still possible that this is simply the Drone Dalek, it would be nice to think that the Eternal did actually make some kind of impact on the series, instead of briefly showing up twice and then disappearing never to be seen again. Then again, it could be that neither of these Stone Daleks are actually the Eternal. Perhaps part of the capabilities of the Eternal was the ability to escape the end of the universe somehow. After all, the name Eternal would imply the ability to outlast everything. Could could it be that the reason why there are only two stone Daleks recovered from the Underhenge is that the Eternal escaped the death of the universe somehow? Is the reason why the Eternal has never been seen after this episode is that it attempted to escape the end of the universe and was destroyed during Big Bang 2? In reality, the stone Dalek props were created using the scientists and strategists props from Victory of the Daleks, which is why those two ranks do not appear in this finale. The props were so heavily damaged by the stone effect that they were retired, which is why the scientist Dalek never appears again, and why the strategist Dalek got an updated design for its next appearance in Series 7. What do you think of the stone Dalek, both in terms of its design and its role in the story? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.